Hi everyone, today we're going to be covering in this little itty bitty tomato. Um, I'm going to start by doing the actual, this sort of, um, this bit, the stalky stemmy bit. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, we're going to use the permanent green olive to start with. When I was little we used to call these spiders. They don't quite look like this on a real tomato and they used to look like little green curled up spiders and we used to uh, take them off and throw them at each other. It's lovely and shout spider! Um, yeah, I can't do that in my household now because my son and my husband are terrified of spiders. Now, although in our household we had a few people that weren't keen, no one was terrified. Um, in the middle we want this area to be a little darker because there will be some shadow. I'm going to just you do that by using this pencil again in a heavier layer. So, um, but I'm going to sharpen it so I can really get into that centre. So no, we don't do it anymore because that would be cruel. Um, you know, we no one in our house was terrified, so it just used to be a little bit of fun. But no, that's mean. I think it would only make my son more scared. I try not to make him scared. He's scared of dogs as well, and that's my fault. I've got nothing against. There were lovely dogs, I know, but uh, and it's not. It's just. It's not their fault. I'm scared of them. I just have this fear. Tips, and uh, which I think came from when I was young. So uh, every dog makes me tense when it comes near me, and. Uh, I know that I know there are lots of dog lovers and I know most dogs are friendly it's not a logical thing okay tomato um, I'm gonna go to start with with this um, light cadmium red this is almost an orangey color now Johanna's left us this shine mark so I'm gonna use that and so I'm gonna make it darker on this side mm make it catch the light there. Actually I don't know whether I will make it dark on this side. Sometimes it looks better if it's a little bit darker on the side where it's catching the light and it almost um, makes the makes that area look even more bright. But we'll see. So I'm just going to do a layer of this anyway. A light covering of this orangey red colour. I rather like it. I'm going to do a little more of it actually. I'm going to do a slightly heavier, just another layer in exactly the same way. I'm not thinking about um, shadow, shine or anything apart from leaving that one area. And that will be a nice base for us because it's nice and orangey. I'm going to just go up by one colour in my polychromos. This is the pale geranium lake. This is a little bit more pinky. We'll see if it works. We want some shadow underneath these um, leafy bits. So I'm going to apply that and see how it looks. It does look quite pinky, this colour actually. But anyway, we'll go with it. Um, dark underneath here. This will be darker down here where it would be more shady and it will get lighter as we go up. It's worth putting a little bit of dark on each edge as well. It helps to provide some shape to our tomato. I've talked about that quite a lot on this page with the various different veggies. Okay, I'm going to go back in with my lighter colour now. Back in with the light chromium red and sort of fill in the gaps as it were. We may need a darker colour to really um, accent that shadow a bit more but we'll fill in these. I'm quite liking, liking this colour. I think it's good. But to say we need our shadows to be a little bit darker. Um, I don't want to go, I could use a bit of a black it's always a bit of a risk using a black. I think we'll just use a darker red. We'll go for this one. This is the middle cadmium red. And we'll go back under here and try and get that 
shadow looking more emphasized and here and then really get some intense colour going down at this bottom area. As I said before on the edges can make a big difference but you notice that what I'm doing is I am using this scumbling motion between the edge and the centre part to blend that colour in so we don't have a defined line isn't what I am looking for. Okay, now I am happy with Mr. Tomato. Apart from the black line around that shadow, I don't like that. So I'm going to use my jelly roll to gently eliminate that and put in our shine. The area is a little bit big for my liking shine area but I've just got to go with it because it's drawn on I mean the alternative could be to cover it cover the white lines entirely and then um, color over the top but I'm not very good at doing that um, with this I think it I know people use different materials for that not a gel pen um, gesso I've heard people using and just a white acrylic paint um, I think so you can get a lighter layer because that's quite thick if I painted on if I drew on that it would just chip off but anyway we're going to leave our tomato like that so uh, so it's all done it didn't take very long but uh, I hope um, that was useful for you and thank you very much for watching and happy colouring